Preovibos prescus, also known as the giant muskox, is an extinct mammal species of the family Bovidae. Its name translates literally as before ovibos. This species is a close relative of modern muskoxen. It used to be regarded as an ancestor to the modern muskox, but new findings suggest that these two species may be of the same age and that they coexisted with one another. The genus Pleobibos existed since the early Pleistocene epoch around 1.5 million years ago. The species later spread to Alaska and the Yukon around a million years ago, and around half a million years ago, the species disappeared. Remnants of a giant muskox were found with early human remains, indicating that this species was possibly hunted by people. Unlike its modern relative, the giant muskox is much more highly adaptable and tolerant of warm, temperate climates. Sit back and watch as we learn more about this fascinating, but sadly extinct, ancient animal. Preovibos prescus was larger than the modern muskox, with a shoulder height of 130 to 165 centimeters and longer and more massive limbs. The North American genus Buophilium, also known as the Wilk muskox, was probably similar to Preovibos. Void Buophilium, the horns were also different. Preovibos prescus was known for having long, twisting horns which are distinguished from the upper late Pleistocene and recent wing muskox in that the horns are much rounder at the base. This species was capable of living in warmer climates, meaning it is uncertain if they were as shaggy as modern muskox and are today, though it is possible that fur density for this species varied between seasons or between different populations and locations. The giant muskox is widespread during the Pleistocene, ranging from Western Europe and the Mediterranean to Alaska and the Northern Yukon Territory. This animal was highly adaptable and is associated with cold, tundra, reindeer, and temperate woodland red deer faunas alike, along with mammoths, stratus, elephants, and others. During the Mendo glaciation 500,000 years ago, Preovibos was present in the Kaluma River area in eastern Siberia in association with many other Ice Age megafauna that will later coexist elsewhere including wild horses, reindeer, woolly mammoths, and the stag moose. During later glacial periods, Preovibos prescus lived in the uplands together with reindeer and other alpine animals. This species is also present in open wooded steppe, or in some areas even savanna-like habitat. However, in Spain and England, it has been found living in aforementioned moist temperate forest areas. Modern muskox coexist with giant muskox from their appearance one million years ago to the giant muskox's extinction, leading to doubts about which muskox is ancestral to the other. Defenders of ancestorship and preovibos have opposed that preovibos evolved into ovibos in one region during a period of isolation and expanded later, replacing the remaining populations of preovibos. Recent phylogenetic analysis at the mitochondrial level indicates that Proverbos genetically falls within the diversity of modern Oviboes, which might indicate that Proverbos is simply an earlier morphotype of the extant species, Oviboes machatus, or, well, modern day muskoxen. Perhaps future studies can settle questions on the giant muskox's status as a taxon, be it a species or a morphotype. Extinction. Why did the modern muskox survive, but its more adaptable giant relatives go extinct? Widespread and adaptable as it was, the giant muskox had competition. In North America, the similar genus Bulwafirim appeared roughly 200,000 years before Preobibos' extinction. The larger related shrubox also shared habitat with both Brooklyn muskox and Bulwafirim and the giant muskox before its extinction later on. Some bison species could have also filled the same niche. Modern muskoxen are specialized for arctic climates and could have outcompeted the more generalized giant muskox during glacial maximums where it was colder in these areas. Archaic humans did exist at the time and it has been claimed that human hunting contributed to the extinctions of megafauna-like giant muskoxen, but while the species does have evidence of being hunted by people, in this particular case there are issues with this overkill idea. The human species at the time it still used Achillean technology, 
which at the time was much less advanced than the later technologies by Homo sapiens, that are often cited for the late Pleistocene or early Holocene extinctions. It seems the cause of extinction is ultimately uncertain. Hopefully future files can give us more answers on other uncertainties about this giant extinct mammal.